Well, hi everyone, it's Cindy with Cindy Lifestyle and More. And welcome back to my channel. And today is going to be a small Dollar Tree haul that most of the make was $1.25 and it took me like two or three different Dollar Tree stores to get some of the items because I mentioned that I was going to do a Dollar Tree haul and a lot of my subscribers says, when are you going to do that? Well, some of it's going to be done today because it's a very special day. I have a, a subscriber who's also is a content creator. She does a YouTube channel. She asked me if I would do a contour um, tutorial. And today's your day, Jody. And I will put Jody's information below of her, of her channel. She does a lot of Timu hauls, but she's getting into skincare and she's getting into makeup and she wants to learn how to do contour. I'm using some Dollar Tree makeup. I'm using a concealer, which is also a highlighter, another concealer, a foundation, the contour sticks, the makeup multitask you can use as a lip blush, and you can use it as an eyeshadow, LA color powder, the sponge, a blending sponge, and a wet and wild brush that I got from the Dollar Tree. And before we go into the video of me applying the contour, this is an open collab. It just Donna Maria. She is a new subscriber that we that has found me and I found her. And basically it's called New to Me. And it's an open collab. And I will put just Donna Maria information um, below. And she does beautiful unboxing. She does Friday haul. She does friend mail. And she does a lot of little different things. And she does paper craft. And she does all kinds of little items. Anyway, she's fabulous. And she's got some beautiful dolls as well. So it's an open collab. And it's just Donna Maria. And that is who I'm mentioning today as well. So... The video is next because it's new to me. It's Dollar Tree. Have fun. Enjoy. So as you can see, I have no makeup, none, no foundation, no concealer, because today I have a subscriber who also has a YouTube channel, has been watching my videos and asked if I would do a contour tutorial. And I'm going to do this for you today, Jody. It's for you. This video is going to be about contouring. So if any one of you who would like to learn about contour, simple, basic technique, this would be the video for you today. And before I get started, I want to welcome all of you. I got some new subscribers and I want to welcome all of you. So I hope, you know, you enjoy this video and um, always welcome to all my originals. Okay. So here it goes. And Jody, I will put Jody's information at the bottom and then I'll have a few things later to talk about. Okay, so I'm gonna put some Dollar Tree. Got a Dollar Tree sponge, a little black sponge for $1.25. So as you know, I got a makeup mirror here. I couldn't get everything from the Dollar Tree. Not everything. So I, there was like no setting spray, and, you know, and probably the day I wasn't there, they have setting spray to use some things in Dollar Tree. And as you know, Dollar Tree is $1.25 and they're known for LA colors. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna get, let me get my glasses, cause let's see what I have here. Cause this is all new to me. Okay, so what do I have here? I have long wear light beige multi-usage contour concealer. At the same time at the Dollar Tree, I also got Hydrating Under Eye Concealer in Fair. And this one says, you know, I'm big on hyaluronic acid because it retains its moisture. It says benefit of an eye cream and concealer all in one. So I have that one. And then this one says you can use with a sponge. And this one says is a multi-usage contour and concealer, which is probably like my... Maybelline Age More, Age Rewind Eraser. Okay, so let's see, because this is all new to me too. So I have got to lighten up my eye area. 
As you know, that's big on me. I love to get these dark circles before I get started. So how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great. It has been pouring out here in Central California. I'm gonna start with the Pure Hydrating con Under Eye Concealer. It's in Fair. Our hydrating makeup line is infused with hyaluronic acid, is formulated to give makeup coverage and skin care all in one step, which is kind of unique. Okay, so I'm gonna take my hand and I'm going to apply it on top. Okay, so this is a little runny. I'm not, and you know, I really, want to try this and I want to give it its best review. So I'm going to shake it up because it seems like it's a little runny. Okay. All right. I'm not using a concealer brush because I didn't get any concealer brush with um, the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use a sponge. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it under my eye area. And I'm going to pat. Now, I've been watching um, other YouTubers' videos and showing the Dollar Tree. You know, this is how I see things. Everybody has their favorites. You know, there are so many makeup out there. And they're from a low price to high price. I don't see the difference on the makeup. Now, we know that the, the Dollar Tree makeup is $1.25, but you can make it look great. You can make anything look great. You can, you know, I bought a $1.99 dress when Kmart was open, but it's with the accessories that I put with it. People thought I bought it at Nordstrom's, right? So that's how I want when I use a Dollar Tree haul. I want it to give it the best review. It is a little runny. That doesn't mean that it's not going to give coverage. Okay, so may want to try a little bit more. I like my concealers. I, You know I like my concealers. Okay, now it's a little thicker. So I needed to shake it up. Okay, so probably when you buy this, get if you get this concealer, this one here from the Dollar Tree, let me get my glasses back on. It is a hydrating under eye concealer. This one's in fair. You may want to shake it up because I noticed when I shook it up, it's not as runny. Okay, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this and then I'm going to put it in the above my eye area because why? I've got dark circles. Okay, I do need a little bit more. My birds are chirping. Okay. Also to Jody, if you want, you can get your concealers on Timu or you can go to your nearest Dollar Tree if they have one where you live. But this just gives you an idea. So I always like to put my concealer on first and I'm just patting. And then I also use it to camouflage any imperfections a little bit more i think i'm going to use that much i just feel like it needs a little bit more okay this is fair around my nose and i'm just kind of applying it everywhere So this is, it's giving coverage, but I'm going to be honest with you. I do feel the humectant because it has the hyaluronic acid. The, the consistency, it's not thick. I'll be honest on that. And let me pop this under my eye. A little, pop it under my eye. Apply it under my eye. <laughs> you know me, I always like to take it up here. So it's, um... The coverage is light coverage. It's not thick. It gives you a lighter coverage. Yeah, it gives a lot lighter coverage. Okay. That is the concealer all over my eye area. 
Okay, now what I'm gonna go with now, I'm gonna try this out and I'm gonna see how this works. This one says is a multi-usage by Candy Moyo or Moyo. I hope that's right. It's a multi-usage contour concealer. So it's kind of like my Maybelline Age Rewind. It conceals, it's a concealer and then sometimes you can use it as a contour. But I won't use it like that. I would use it as a concealer or as a brightener. Okay, so let's see how this seems like it's got a sponge. What's on the other side? Is there anything on the other side? Oh, it go, it works. So it, like a rewind, it winds up. Let's see, let's keep it going. Nothing yet. Nope. Hmm. Let's see if I can get this going. I think I see it coming through. So you're gonna to have to wind it up a little bit. Okay, there it is, it finally came up. But I'm gonna be honest, you can't go back down. So when you twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it and it goes up, you can't go back down, it's it's up. So let's see. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I'm going to put it right in through here. That's it right there, right in through here, right where I'm dark. And I'm gonna go out like this. Now I'm not using my, that the peachy color. I'm using all Dollar Tree today on this part until I get to my contour. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna go down here. And a little bit on my nose. I always get like little red marks right here because of my glasses. Now I'm not using an eyeshadow primer because they didn't have an eyeshadow primer. Okay, I'm going to take it down right here around the little fine line. And you know what's, what's nice about the Dollar Tree? If you want to save money and you don't want to spend a lot of money on other cosmetic line, then this is great. Let's see if I can get this in here. They didn't have any small brushes, I mean sponges. To just have this, so I'm going to use this. So I'm gonna take that in there. So I think I'm gonna use this as a brightener. So I'm gonna go down. Now, if you're really fair and ivory, this light color would probably be really good. But for me, I'm gonna brighten up my eye area because I use light colors anyways. It's just something that I'm just used to doing. I'm gonna take it on the other side. And again, I always go on top. I feel like I like everything completely light. Down on my side here. Okay. It's not bad. I mean, it blends well. And then a little bit right here, I have like a little mark right here. I scratched myself here. Well, I was asleep, I woke up with it. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. So this is gonna go, I'm gonna, this is nice. So this is right here. So this is like a brightener, okay? Kind of like my Maybelline Age Rewind. All right, let's see, what else? Foundation, okay. The printing small, so I have to. This is called Clean Beauty Glow Foundation. And it's a small size, a 0 0.41. It's a really small one. It's a like a not even a half an ounce. It's formulated with ni niacinamide and aloe. And I can never say that word. I don't know why, but that's you know what I'm saying. <laughs> For some reason, certain words I can't say. Okay, well, that's one of them. Hopefully I said it right. Now I don't know how this is going to be because this is the color is nude. That's the color, and that's the color. I was trying to get a medium, and the medium was a little too dark for my skin. It was a little too dark. So again, you can't try on the colors, but I know that. So that is that. You no, know, I think I'm going to shake it up. The ingredients will work together. Okay. All right, let's see. 
that is the color. It's a little runny, as you can see. Okay. And it's pretty peachy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take my sponge. And the color is nude. That doesn't look like a nude color to me. It's kind of very um, yellow. But that's what I was going to do today. I was going to do the Dollar Tree makeup. So we're going to, I'm going to go with it. Okay. I'm putting it on, and as you can see, it's not that yellow. Not like what the color looks like. This does this looks more like an orange salmon color, kind of? Maybe not yellow. And it's not that bad on my skin. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take that again, and I'm going to apply it on. Okay, so I feel like this is giving a light, a light coverage. It's not, um, it's not dry. It's not, it doesn't feel oily. But it's not a real, it's not a real full coverage. I can still see my little freckles. Um, I can still, it's transparent. So I think if you like more of a natural look, just want to even out your skin, skin tone a little bit and, you know, camouflage a little bit. I think that would be great for that. But it's not a real, not a lot of coverage. All right, so that is that. The makeup that I was talking about, the makeup, that's kind of like my Mary Kay corrector, like the salmon peach color. This is kind of like that, the foundation. But when I look in the, in the mirror here, it's not like this, not like this color. So maybe it's because it's transparent. So that's probably why. But it doesn't give a lot of coverage. It gives a very light coverage. So you can probably use this under your foundation, you know, like a, like a primer, because they didn't have a primer at the Dollar Tree. So if I didn't get, if I could not find a primer, I would probably use this and then follow with, with a foundation. But that would be me. You would use it how you would desire. But for $1.25, I think it does exactly what a $1.25 makeup would do. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's exactly what it's doing. So, so far, it's been good. It's been good. It's been exactly what it says it'll do. Okay. Now, contour. As you know, Jody has asked me to do more of a contour. Okay. So, Jody, I hope this really works out. I hope you enjoy this. And um, I'm going to kind of take it slow. Okay, contour, what it does is more like shadowing. Um, a lot of people call it recede, you know, to give definition. So to me, a lot of people say recede. It doesn't click, you know, they're like, okay. When people come in and talk about contour, I say shadowing. It's like shadowing, more definition. And then highlight brings out, which gives light, okay? Okay. Like when we brighten our teeth, it's bright. It lightens and it makes your teeth look more stand out. But contour, the darker color, let's use this as an example, is more definition, shadowing. And when you use anything of a contour, you don't want to apply too much. You want to apply, blend it, and apply. You don't want it, you know, she's contouring. You want the contour flow with with our face that's how i see it and that's how i was taught you want to flow with it you know when people you don't want them to know you're doing it you want it to look natural and that's how i see contouring is people know we contour they know they can tell but you don't want to say she contoured oh she's a you want to you want it to 
flow through. Okay, now I also use powders and you can tell I've used this and I've done the powder for many, 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 many years. I'm gonna go like that. That's how it started. But now as progressively with makeup, now there's creams, okay? All right. And as you can see, the Dollar Tree has them as well. And some are light to medium, medium to dark, just like mine right here, the Wet n Wild. This one is a dual-ended contour, light to medium, okay? These are here, medium, highlighter, light, okay? Okay, so let's see. So since I'm doing Dollar Tree, we're gonna use the medium. I'm gonna do one side of my face and then we'll do the other. Okay. okay. So let's see. That is the color of this. All right. Let's, you can hear it. <laughs> you can hear it. Okay. You want to go right in here, first of all. Okay. Right and not here where it's like a hollow. That's how, how that's how we used to do it back in the 80s and the 90s. But you want to go right under. Now, normally, some people take the, the thumb and take this finger all up. And you can actually apply your blusher like that to know where to do the apples of your cheeks. But if you're having a hard time to put this, the shadowing, you can take it right. I'm going to lay it right on my finger right here. Let's see, and I'm going to go back to my hairline. Oh, I need to get a little hair color. Okay, so I need to go back to my hairline where my temples are at. I call it the temple or the ear. All the way down. And I can feel under my cheekbone. Okay? All right. When you, when you get used to it, you're just going to draw right on it. Okay. Now... I'm going to use the sponge. They didn't have a contour brush because I want to try everything that the Dollar Tree. Okay. If you use a brush, you can use a brush like this. This actually is by Cover FX. This is actually a contour brush. This one's by Technique and this is a sculpting brush. It has like the sideways. You can use that because it gets right in through there or you can use a sponge, okay? All right, kind of want to give you a different idea how to use it. Okay, so I got my shadow going on there, right? I like to go up. I press and I work up. Press and up. I'm trying to see if you can see. Do you see that now? Okay, kind of like Stay, like stapling it in, you know, just when you use a brush, you're going to go like this and you're going to kind of work up. You're going to touch your little, you can feel your cheekbone. You're kind of going like that. So you're giving yourself like a little lift. All the way he back here. Huh? I got some on my chin right here. Okay. This stuff is everywhere. I don't want to get it everywhere. Okay like that. So you can see right in through here. Okay. Now, this is the wet and wild one. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to draw it. So I'm going to take it back to my hairline from here and I'm going to feel that you can feel it. Okay. And I'm lightly drawing. See the difference of the color? Okay. Like that. This is a powder contour. There's the highlighter. That is also a highlighter here. And then these you can use to contour. Let's see. Let me get, I'm not going to use a sponge. I'm going to take this. Now, you could tell which color I use because it's like a taupe color. So I'm going to go like that. Okay. And I'm going to apply it right in through here. Just to give you an idea, and I'm going to work up. 
Sometimes I just go like this, back and forth. Okay. Right back to my earlobe, right here, right down. Okay. And or you can go like that. Okay. And I'm giving myself a little shadowing here. Okay. I'm going to go back here and blend that in. Because you know me, I like things blended. Okay. All right. Like that. Okay. Now, I went on Google and I got one of these sheets. And it kind of tells you, these are different shapes of faces. Oblong, rectangle, round, a diamond, a heart, and an oval. And it's showing you where to highlight and to contour. And I'm gonna leave it like that for about maybe 10 seconds. And you can use your phone and take a photo of it and print it out. Okay. All right. I have a round face. Okay. So it's saying that I should go all, that would be my contour. This is my highlight, like where I do with my, with the concealer. Highlight here. I like to use a little contour there. So I do change it up a little bit, but this gives you Oh, it gives you more of a way how to do it, okay? All right. Okay, so now some people like doing it on along their nose. So some take it from the eyebrow down. And you're going to feel your little bone right here. Okay. I'm gonna use the other contour. I don't go from the eyebrow down. I just take it right in here. And then you wanna go across to stop it, okay? You wanna go across right here in between these two little section here to stop it because you're gonna put your highlighter in the middle, okay? Light-handed. Go light-handed because if you put too much you're going to say oh my god i got a mess you can always add more as you go okay all right you can take your sponge you can blend it and go across you're going to fill it right in here it's going to give you more definition to your nose like we had a nose job <laughs> Or you can take your brush, work down, across, like that, okay? And this part here is gonna be the lighter color, okay? All right, now, some people put it along the hairline. I do, I have my forehead hairline, well, I call it hairline too. My forehead, I can actually put four fingers on there. <laughs> some people can only put three fingers on there and some people can only put two fingers on there. I got a, I, I've got a forehead, okay? So I'm going to use it right here. Normally it says I would go here here, remember it said that? Because it wants to angle it so I'm not so, right? It wants to make me look thinner because it says I got a round face, okay? Some people just go like that, just like that. And then they just blend it and then go across to give more definition, okay? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to blend it. Now, a lot of times I go like this because it cam kind of camouflages my gray. Because <laughs> I take it along the hairline and kind of like right here, you can see my little gray, I kind of camouflage it. 
and then I met it. Okay. Just like that. So I know my blushers are going to go on the highlights of my cheekbones right here. Apples of my cheeks. And then I'll take the highlighter because then it just gives more of a lift. Okay. All right. Got that done. Now I would do the same thing with this. Okay. I would take it along here. And here or here just like that without even going down it's kind of I look in the I look how I look and kind of say okay I want to shadow this I want to shadow that but I'm just showing you the basics right now okay and again I kind of blend back I'm always going back up on out Okay, now the jawline. Some people like to use it along their jawline, if, especially like I have a little bit of gels going on, right? So they want a really nice jawline. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go from the earlobe right in through here. And I kind of always kind of go back like this and I'm going to lay it right on there. Some people go all the way down. It depends. Look how, it, and get used to it. Once you get used to it, you'll know how much you want to use. Okay, that's this one. Then I'm going to take this one, and then I'm going to take the same way. I'm going to go across. And then I use a little bit underneath my lip. To give a little full lip okay then we have our little neck right here and i always do a little diamond here some people do in threes one two three some people just go across just like that okay some people go along the side i don't okay so now i got a little bit going along my jawline got a little bit above my underneath my lip and then i got a little bit going across okay I'm looking here because I'm trying to see where I'm at. Okay. And remember, you can do it with powders too. So if I took this, what would I do? I would take it along the jawline. Okay. Now, there's something I don't realize if you notice. I've got two of these going on here, but I'm light-handed. So it doesn't look like it's getting darker and darker. It's blending, basically. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take my sponge again and I'm going to work right along that jaw. I want a nice, nice jaw line, strong jaw and under and other side and blend it and kind of, you can work down like this, like that. And then I got it underneath my lip. Now, there's also another thing that I do. I'm drinking bubbly, sparkling water. So I need, I need to get something to drink right now. Okay. I hope it's showing because I'm trying different things. So that's so I did my contour underneath my cheekbones right here. Did a little bit on my forehead. I did along my jawline. And then I call it my little tricky neck right there. Okay. All right. Now I did a Dollar Tree. I tried my wet and wild one. And I also use an elf. Okay. Now 
they have lighter colors. Okay, like right here. Like this one. Okay, so here we go. So, and Dollar Tree has one. They have light, and this one is highlighter. So if they were out of this one, you can use this. If they were out of this one, I can use that. Okay, I'm not being sponsored by anybody. I'm doing this all myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with light because that's what I'm used to. Okay. Okay, so there goes that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this <clears throat> right in here because I want a little highlight there. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit above my lip. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit along my nose because I want it to show, okay? Like sun, we're out in the sun, right? We get sunburnt on our shoulders. <laughs> we get sunburnt on the top of our head, our back, because that's where the sun can hit, right? Well, I'm giving highlight and brighten things out where I want it to show, okay? And then I go around my eye area, okay? Let's see where else. I don't want to go. I need a little bit more blend in here. Okay. All right. Now, and sometimes people put a little bit. Do you see right here, this little section here? Some people actually put a little bit right in through here. Okay. All right. Here's the wet and wild. Same thing. along my nose, okay? Remember, it's gonna be in the middle. Along my eyebrow, along the top of my cheek, right here in the little section here, and the top of my lip. Got a bunch of colors, don't I? <laughs> oh my God, okay. You can use a powder, same thing. Now, you can use this one or this one. I like to use this one in the middle of my nose if I was using the powder because it's got the little shimmer above the lip, above the cheekbone, around my eye. Let's see anywhere else. I, oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot. Let me use this one. Some people even do this. They go up, up, and up like that. Okay. Now I'm going to blend all that. You can use a powder, um, a powder brush. You can use a sponge. You can use the angle, whatever you desire, okay? I'm gonna go along my cheekbone right here, on top of my cheeks. Right here, there's a little echo section here. That's where we used to shadow for contour years back, okay? Around my lip, down the middle of my nose. And if you want to apply more, apply more. If you want more shadow, apply a little bit more shadow, you know, a little bit more deeper color, you know, just apply a little bit more. If you feel like it's enough, then you, then you kind of put a little bit of powder on and start putting on your blusher and then you're almost done. And it's called Beige. And this is by LA Color. And it's got the little sponge applicator here. And this is gonna be something that you can put in your purse. You can use it over your face makeup. It doesn't lock. It doesn't close. It doesn't lock. 
My powder doesn't lock. Okay. Well, that's a fail. <laughs> that's going to be hard to take with me, right? Okay, so that's going to stay home. And But what's going to happen, it will it'll go bad, you know, because it's not closed. So that wasn't real good. And it's a plastic. So, okay. And that's what it looks like a little plastic okay i've got a wet and wild brush i got this at the dollar tree dollar tree for dollar 25 not bad okay so i'm going to take a little bit of this and i always just pat i pat on everything and i'm going to blend everything right now because i just feel that when i use powder or loose powder, and they didn't have a loose powder. I'm gonna use this instead. I just feel it blends everything and makes my makeup last a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I'm ready for blush. This, I got this at the Dollar Tree, LA Colors Makeup Stick. Remember it says three in one, you can use it as an eyeshadow and you can use it as a blusher and you can use it as a lip. There's the color, it's very light. And I forgot to show this to all of you. That was the light color that I used around everywhere and along my nose okay all right so i'm going to do this so remember i showed this to you you can use this as you can tell my finger right here you can see where i applied the contour area but you can also use this to contour your cheeks i mean not contour your cheeks put your blusher on okay so i'm going and you don't want to go anywhere further than here, your, your your iris right here, your eye. You want to go from here back because I don't have anything here. My cheekbone starts right here, up. Okay, so I'm holding my cheekbone. Now remember, the blusher is light. That's it. Let's see if I can get this on the other side. And this, this thumb right here is making me stop, okay? All right. So I'm going to get the powder brush because they didn't have a blush brush, and I'm going to blend it. And it's on the apples of my cheek. So I got my contour going on. I got my blusher. And then I had my highlighter right in through here. And I'm gonna look right here. And I want you to see this. So shadowing, blusher, highlight, okay. Shadowing, blusher, highlight, okay? Everything, you it's lifting. Contour is for shadowing, lifting, more apparent, more sculpt, more definition, okay? Now, it said here that this was a highlighter. Normally, I would use a highlighter, but we're going to use this and see if it works. And I did use a highlighter, use the lighter, remember? But I can still add more highlighter if I want to shimmer. It's probably going to go a little bit long, this video. Let's see what this is. No shimmer, just a highlight. 
Okay, so there's two highlights. There's this one. And this one. They're basically the same. So what I normally would do, I would use like a little shimmer through here. But you can see, do you see it? It's got, oops, it's got a little highlight to it, if you can see it. But I'm going to cheat a little bit because I want you to see it. See this little shimmer right here? You can actually take that. I'm going to use a little bit of this because I don't, and you can actually apply it on there just to give more of a highlight. Okay? All right. And then you can use a little bit around your eyes, like a halo. That's why it's called Halo <laughs> by Wet n Wild. But that kind of gives you an idea. A little eye makeup on and put some lipstick on and I'll be right back. While I'm back, I fixed up my hair. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video because it was very special to me that Jody wanted me, I got a little hair in my face right here, hold on. She wanted me to do this for her. And I just want to let everyone know that contour, you can put as much as shadowing you want, highlighting you want, or as little as you want. I just wanted to show the basic today. And I got this on Google and I thought, what a perfect thing to have because it gives you the oblong, the rectangle, the round, the diamond, the heart, and the oval, which is great. And maybe when you saw it on the video, you took a photo of it, but that gives you guidelines. And I just want something to flow and make it easy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. The only thing that was a real fail was the LA, the LA color pressed powder. Doesn't work, doesn't close. I didn't spend a lot of money. <laughs> so it wasn't like, oh no, I spent $30. It, it's okay, you know, it, it's okay. But you know what? The other items, they worked and they did well. And it, it basically, I really thought this color was gonna be exactly that color and it doesn't look that bad. So I wanted to do something different today and that's what I wanted to do. And I still have some more Dollar Tree because I'm getting some people, I'm gonna do some eye makeup. But what I wanted to say, I've been having a lot of people, subscribers from my channel, asking me specific things if I can show. And I wanna do that and still do my regular videos. And I appreciate all of you. I'm very, very warming to me. It's very special to me when you leave comments and you know, leave nice comments and, and telling me you want a little bit more, that's, even better, you know, I'm willing to do it. I, I'm hoping I'm giving all of you, every single one of you, the support and the information that you want. That means a lot to me. The other thing is I'm getting so many different subscribers too that all walks of life. They have different channels. Some do Timu, some do diamond painting, some do travel, some do lives, some do art, cooking. That's even special to me because it's all different and that makes it exciting because I learned something from all of you and then you learn something hopefully from me and that's incredible and I want to welcome you. I will support you. It means a lot to me and I support my YouTube channel uh, subscribers that don't do YouTube. You're special too. It means a lot to me because you're coming onto my channel and you're finding things that you enjoy. This has been an incredible month for me. And I welcome all of you from the bottom of my heart. The other thing I got on today on a couple of my um, subscribers that also watch my YouTube channel. You know, I mentioned Elias and Pat, Jody. I'm going to put her also on the bottom of the description. But, um, and I hope I'm saying this right, but I'm going to pronounce it. C-I-A-N-N-E, Doodles. She does painting and she's almost at 100 subscribers. I'm gonna put her information and go say hi to her and tell her that Cindy sent you. I know what it feels like when I first got my 100 subscribers. It was emotional to me because it was special to me. I have another one named Miss Alyssa JM and she's almost at 50. Maybe we can get her to 100. It, it's, it makes me, emotional because I know how hard it is to hit 100. 
I know how hard it is to hit 500 and 1,000. It's so, and also for Jody, <laughs> you know, go say hi to them because it's really, it, it's, it's, you know, we set everything up and we want to talk to you. We want you guys to be happy and we want to have a great video. And that's the truth. You know, I just, it, it, I do. I get emotional about it because I know, I know, I know that it, it, it takes a lot for us to come and say hi to you. And that's why I'm so grateful for all of you. So anyways, go say hello to them and, and tell them that I said hi and that I sent you. Okay. And I know if you own, if you have a channel, they'll say hello back. And I know, I bet they'll subscribe back to you. So anyways, I want to welcome all of you. I want you all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like always, subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you on my next video. Bye. And I love you all. Have a great day or a great evening. <laughs> Until next time. Have a great day.